spectacular rugby league. trip down memory lane that is eh? for me at least <laughs> um, how you going guys a uh, little bit of a different video today so just fiddling around on my um, on my PC just before I have to head to work and um, I managed to get the OG <coughs> rugby league game from all the way back in 2003 up on the <coughs> up on the PC so I figured um figured we take a little trip down memory lane have a look at how the teams were back in those days Maybe play a game on it, have a, you know, see how it goes. And um, look, maybe if you guys enjoy it, um, this is something I can maybe upload on my gaming channel or something. I can maybe do a series on a gaming channel or something like that. So we'll see. But for now, let's um, let's just head over to the game and we can jump in and have a look, eh? All right. So here we are, the old school, old school. So you got all the classic videos that um, obviously haven't unlocked because you need to actually play the game. To unlock them, maybe I'll unlock them over um <clears throat> over the next couple of weeks, and I can um uh, we can go through and have a little look at them, mate. Um, yeah, look, this just this brings back so many memories. So this came out, I think December two thousand three. So obviously, 03 was the year that the Penrith Panthers won the grand final. I mean, look at this: ANZ, Aussie Stadium, Brookie Oval, Campbelltown, Canberra Stadium. OG Dairy Farmers, <clears throat> Leichhardt, Jubilee, Olympic Park, Parramatta Stadium. Obviously, Penrith Stadium looks exactly the same in the game as it does in real life still. <laughs> Suncorp, Sydney Showground. So many classic stadiums. Obviously, you've got a couple of the um, UK stadiums in there as well for the Super League. But yeah, so many classic stadiums. <clears throat> I think for now, we'll... We'll just chuck it on Penner if we might play a game. I'll just keep it on reserve, just make it easy. Ah, man, look at this. Oh, man, look at this. All of the OG logos. Some of them still the same as they are now, but, oh, man. So many different ones. Like, you don't have that Manly logo no more. Ah, Cowboys have stayed the same pretty much the whole way through, so that's nice for them. Parramatta Eels logo, completely different to how it is now. Obviously, the OG Penny Pan not the OG, but you know, the old school Penny Panthers logo. All right, South's pretty much stayed the same. St. George, Roosters, West Tigers has changed completely for years. Uh, I'm looking over there just so I've got the video stuff over there. So that's why I'm looking over there, just to make sure it's all recording. But yeah, look, oh man, just classic, eh? Right, obviously, my team, <clears throat> I mean, look at this, you know, Luke Pad and El Masri, Nigel Vangana, oh man. Anasta back in the day, Sherwin, Mark O'Mealy, Steve Price, Big Willie Mason, Andrew Ryan. Where is he? Uh, big Jonathan Thurston here. I'll move the... I'll quickly hide the webcam so you can see the stats. Well, yeah, look at those stats on the on the debutante JT. <laughs> they really didn't expect much from him, it looks like. Terrible passing, terrible offload, terrible kicking. <laughs> Obviously went on to be one of the best players of all time, but yeah, that's how he was rated back in the day. All right, I don't think in this game you would find any players that are still in the game, like that are still playing to this day. Right? Like you got Manly, like that's a completely different side to what it is now. Obviously, Steve Menzies, the the OG, one of the you know one of the best Manly players of all time. Melbourne Storm, I don't think. Slater's in the game. Obviously, you got Cam Smith there. This is when Cam Smith was sort of first starting out. Because obviously, this game's 20 years ago. All right, 20 years ago. I think... Is Billy in here? No, see? Billy Slater's not even in here. That's how old this game is. You've got Ryan Hoffman. Oh, man. Let's quickly check the Penrith squad, the grand final winning team. Let's have a look. you got Reese West. Uh, obviously, Luke Lewis started out on the wing for a lot of people that didn't know before he... 
uh, moved to Sharks and went to second row. Was a winger and was a really good winger at that too. Uh, obviously got Preston Campbell, Jaden's dad. Preston was a fantastic player growing up. I loved watching Presto play. Um, look, Craig Gower, Luke Prittis, a fantastic hooker. Trent Waterhouse. Anyone on the bench that we can know from that? Obviously, Frank Pritchard came to the Dogs after a while. Uh, yeah, just like... <laughs> How retro and how old school is this? It's amazing. All right, let me have a look, actually. Let's quickly have a look. Is Darren Lockyer... Yeah, see, there you go. Darren Lockyer, Darren Lockyer is still at fullback. This is before he got moved into the halves. All right, Gordon Tallis is in there. Everyone remembers that Gordon Tallis tackle in State of Origin where he grabs... Oh, can't think of who it is, but he you know, grabs him by the scruff of the neck, drags him over the sideline. Everyone remembers that. Got Big Petro. Obviously, he had a stint at Penrith as well. Carl Webb, Corey Parker on the bench. Obviously, Corey Parker wanted to be one of their best players of all time, like longest serving. Scotty, oh, was that Scotty Prince on the bench there? Let me go have a look. I think that was Scotty Prince. <coughs> yeah, it was Scott Prince. There he is. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, let's quickly have a look. Actually, is um, is Benji? Where is he? Is Benji in this game? If he is, I think he'll be in the reserves. But yeah, look at that, um... Look at that Tiger side. Fitzhenry. Oh, man. Such a... Such a throwback. Yeah, see, Robbie Farah's there, but no Benji. Uh, so this was before Benji's time. Uh, I think Ben... I think... I think Benji made his debut in 04. I think. I'd have to look that up, I think. So, um, he wasn't in the game, because obviously this game was based off the 2003 season. Ah, uh, look. Oh. Anyone else really we should look at? Oh, I don't know. Is, um... Yep. Andrew Johns. Quickly hide the webcam again, show you his stats. Look at that. Pretty much eights and nines across the board. I don't know how. His tackling ability is only a six. I'm sure if Joey were to have seen this back in the day, he would have been absolutely livid. <laughs> Joey was one of the best defenders. Like, one of the best halves defenders of, um, of his generation. Without a shadow of a doubt, All right, you got um Danny De Danny Badiris in there again, a world class player. Oh, I've got to take this ear off. I hate wearing earphones. Eh? I can't stand it. it hurts my ears. Yeah, Danny De Badiris in there. Um, again, one of the best hookers of his generation. <laughs> Clint Newton. <laughs> oh man, what a throwback. Man, yeah, look. Actually, let's have a look. Is um Stacy in here? Yeah, Stacy Jones. So, some of my younger audience, um, even myself, when I, so back when Stacey was in his prime, I was only like, you know, 8 to 12, really, like 8 years old to 12 years old, right? Because I think he retired in like 2007, something like that, I think, off the top of my head, I don't remember. But yeah, like, I was very young when Stacey was at the peak of his powers. Um, if you haven't, just go back and watch highlights of Stacey Jones, man. He was incredible. Like, um, I believe Joey Johns has gone on record record to say that Stacey's probably the best halfback he's ever versed. Right, and that's a lot coming from him. So, yeah, look, if you haven't, go look up Stacey Jones' highlights. He was phenomenal. Right, anyone in here that we might know the name of? No. Nah. <laughs> See, look, no one in this game would still be playing to this day, as far as I'm aware. I'll have to have a look through all the... <coughs> All the teams and see if I can find someone that might be still playing. But yeah, look, um, where was he? Hold on, was he just... Matty Bowen, absolutely incredible player. Matty Bowen was. He was a freak. He was amazing. Um, yeah, he was the old school. I don't know what you'd compare him to, really. He was. He was just his own player. Like there's, there hasn't. I don't think there's been anyone since. Like anyone like Matty Bowen since. Um. Yeah, look, I don't think... Um... Oh, yeah, Billy is there. Hold on, he's playing center. Yeah, there you go, Billy's there. I must have missed him. Yeah, Billy Slater in there at center. I'm pretty sure back then he was playing wing instead of center, so he would have been more like here or something like that. But yeah, the buildings of their spine right there. All right, just throw Cooper Cronk in there and it's game over for um, the rest of the competition. All right, I think what I'll do, I'll, um, obviously I'm going to use the, the Bulldogs because they are my team. Alright, we'll use the Bulldogs. <clears throat> we might just jump into a game against... Um, I'm going to a game against Para because they were bitter rivals back in those days. Um, 
actually let's quickly make sure that both the lineups are good what i'll do actually i'll um we'll take braith and aster out and just for the sake of it we'll chuck um jt in i don't know we'll put an aster on the bench i guess but yeah we'll chuck jt in just for the sake of it no one else really could could bring on Roy Asatasi, but I think we'll leave him for now. Anyone on Parrots? I don't think um, Hain was in this game yet. They have such a big bench, Jesus. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure back in these days as well. Oh no, Hindy's there. Hindy's there. Um, yeah, no, no, Jared Hain as of yet. Yeah, Luke Burt, great player. Brett Hodgson, fantastic player. Obviously, I believe he went to the Tigers after this. Like, after the 2003 season. I think 2004, he was at the Tigers. Man, look, just... Oh, man. Let's, um... <laughs> Let's give it a game, shall we? Good evening and welcome to this match. The Bulldogs will face off with Parramatta. The crowd is pumped here at Penrith Stadium. What a beautiful night. The two teams get set for time on. About to kick is Sherwin. All right, let's... <laughs> Oh, let's get into it, eh? Oh, there used to be a kickoff that you could do that would guarantee you get the ball back. I don't remember how to do it, but... There's the kick -off. Right. <laughs> I do not remember the controls, so I'm not expecting a lot to come out of this, but we'll, um, we'll see how we go. How do I tackle again? Hey, I try to hold circle. There you go, that's it. Man, oh, oh, man. So, all of your rugby league games that have come out in the past, I like your rugby league lives, like you know, one through one through five, all started here. Right. So this is what I would play every day after school. Right. Jump in, play like a franchise mode. What you used to be able to do, you used to be able to just like run to the sideline and run straight around everyone like that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get tackled. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, this is this is where it all began. There was no um. You know, there was no quick set plays or anything like that like you've got in the new rugby league games. It was just run straight, tap buttons to pass. Let's try to go down the short side here. Oh, he's in. Oh. I don't remember how to... I don't remember how to step. That's right, it's that one. Come on, Willie. Put it down, son. No, you're dead. Yeah, there were no, like, try scoring animations. So, like, literally every animation was the exact same dive. Like, so, um, that would happen quite a bit where you would just dive out if you'd, like, gotten tackled in an animation. Let's get it to O'Mealy. Let's have a big hit up. Pass it, pass it. There you go. Oh. Oh, he's in. Hughes. Offload. And he's in. <laughs> uh. I know I'm only playing on like one of the easier difficulties, but this is just a little um, trip down memory lane for me, if I'm honest. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can still goal kick in this. So the goal kicking in this was very um, simple. So you press X once to make the little bar on the left go, and then obviously you press it again to try and uh, make sure it's centered. So we're going to put that like there, I reckon. Tap it there, tap it there. That should go straight through. Beautiful. <laughs> That's something I've been thinking about doing as well. If I could eventually get um get my hands on all of the rugby league games, I could do like a comparison of the goal kicking in each rugby league game. But um, you know that that that'd be something for another day. Oh, what a, what a shot! Look at the slow motion replay. Get it away again. Oh, down he goes. <laughs> oh, the passing in this game was so bad. It was so bad. Right, let's see if I still remember how to kick. Yeah, so you line it up and just launch it. What a kick. What a kick. That's going to sit up. Beautiful kick. 
And it's half time. 6 0. That's all you want. Look at that. I'm assuming that's tackles and hit ups. I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, what a. What a throwback. <laughs> yeah, what I could do, I, I don't know, like. If you guys are interested, I'd. I'd probably upload it all on the gaming channel. Oh, he's away. Go, son. Oh. Yeah, what I could do is I could, um... I could maybe, like, do, like, a sim five years or ten years or something and see how the game believed that, like, the next ten years would have gone or something like that. You know, just, I don't know, something like that put on the gaming channel because it just sort of sits there at the moment, doesn't it? Oh, there's JT. It's getting involved. But honestly, for a game that came out in 2003, like, it's, it's not bad, you know? Like, it's not bad. Especially for a game made by a, just, like, a small... A, I believe they're an Australian company. I mean, you'd you think they are. True Blue. You know, you, you'd think they'd be an Aussie company. But yeah, it's like a small... <clears throat> back in the day, this probably would have been classified as an indie game. Really. Ooh, they didn't get the kick away. Yeah, the fact that they were able to make like a half decent game like this, it's actually quite impressive for back in those days. Hold up there. Alright, I've got the fullback now, so let's um, let's just run around the fullback at the AI, do some defending, and I'll try and return the kick, eh? Oh, he's kicked it. Let's see if you can still do it. So you used to literally just be able to do this. Just run sideways. And away he goes. <laughs> you used to always do this against your mates because there was literally nothing they could do to stop it. And it um it ruined friendships. <laughs> it um it ruined friendships doing that. Just running straight to the left. Cause the um the AI couldn't manage it. And then you would just run straight in and score untouched. Every time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, alright. I think I'll just let this game sort of play out. Um, yeah, look. What I might try to do is... Um, I might try to upload this on the second channel. I might do like a little... Um, I don't know, maybe like a, just a season-long career mode or something, if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, if you are, let me know. Uh, it would definitely go on the gaming channel, though, so um, there will be a link for that uh, down in the description, if that is something that you're interested in. Um, but until then, guys, just... um, Yeah, look, uh, golfing video... I'll probably be able to get down to the fields tomorrow to film. So um, expect a Gold King video or an Outfield video in the next couple of days. But um, yeah, until then guys, have a good one. And um, yeah, take it easy.